G'day, my name is Pete. You're watching Ahead of the Curve. So I'm here today with Christy, who's uh, just purchased the new Highland Refresh uh, Model 3. Hi, Christy. Hey, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you for uh, talking with us. So I understand you've only just took delivery of your white on white Model 3. Yeah, I picked it up yesterday, so I've had it for about 24 hours now. Oh, wow. Okay. And uh, so I know it's been a very short time, but how have you found it so far? Love it. Um, I used to have the old three and I've been driving a diesel car in between. So it's nice to be back in the land of EV. Um, I guess things I've noticed, I don't, I don't love the interior of the new one as much as my old one. Interesting. Um, but I love all the new features. The screen in the back is great for the kids. Definitely a lot more powerful. Um, yeah, just it's nice to just be driving it. In the last uh, day or two, while you've had the car, we've had 40 degree temperatures here in Perth. How have you found the ventilated seats? Have you used that feature yet? So amazing. I didn't actually, I stupidly got caught up in the whole Tesla moment and just ordered one without test driving it. Uh, and I didn't know all the new features I was getting. So yeah, when I put on the uh, cold bacons yesterday, and that was very nice. Um, and yeah, I think the kids are a bit disappointed because they're not, that's not enabled in the back as yet, but not I yet. think that's coming. Um, but yeah, it's very nice, and it's nice to be able to obviously set the climate control and stuff before you get in the car, Absolutely. which I've missed without having my Tesla lately. So how did you go? How long did you have your diesel for in between your two Model 3s? Um, so I sold my old Model 3 in June or July. When they announced the new one, I basically sold one straight away um, and placed an order uh, um, on the 1st of September, which I think was the first day you could order them. So you must have been literally one of the very few first, and you obviously took delivery as one yeah. of the very first as well. I was a little eager. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like we all are. Uh, yeah, I yeah, completely I understand like that. I've always, I think, I've always liked fast cars and fun cars. Uh, and then being a mum, you kind of pull back and you get a bit more conservative. So it's nice to be able to, sort of have a nice economic blend and still have your fun car so that's the great thing about these cars so yes they are fast especially off the mark yeah. but these are the safest cars yeah, on the road right. so you can satisfy your mum's side as well as your fun side <laughs> and you can always tell your husband it's great because it's economical and and exactly <laughs> yeah so the trifecta ah very good so I'm curious, um, how did you find driving a diesel? Um, because you've had your Model yeah. 3 for how long prior to? Um, two years. I two think. years, okay. So going from that back to an internal combustion, <laughs> it was hell, it was wasn't it? It was hell. And I, like, it was a nice diesel, but I hated every second of it. And I used to, you know, like, I made my kids catch the school bus and stuff to school because I just hated driving. It's nice to actually be enjoying driving again. Um, yeah, I absolutely. Even things like not filling up with fuel for 18 months, two years, and then suddenly needing to refuel. I was shocked at the fuel prices. Um, you know, just things like that. And it's nice to sort of keep all that goodbye now and we're moving on and got this guy. Absolutely. Days. Speaking of this guy, tell us a little bit about him. <laughs> okay. I, Look, I'm definitely not equipped to be giving tutorials on this car. Oh, not at all. But I'm learning as we go. Um, but even things like today after the software update, um, I'm a big podcast listener and just having the podcast app now is fabulous. Um, yep. As we touched on, the ventilated seats is great. Having the screen in the back for the kids, but also being able to lock that so they can't mess about with it is also really nice. Uh, we discovered this morning that they can hook up their own Bluetooth devices to that. So it's really good. So I don't have to listen to really bad movies. Um, <laughs> and yeah, just all in all, a really powerful, um, nice pickup at the traffic lights, things like that. Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah, they can actually um, uh, link their um, Xbox controllers as well. And they, yeah, so to get there, but there's time. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So is this a rear-wheel drive, long range? Yeah. Um, uh, sorry, <laughs> rear-wheel drive? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Um, and you've got the white seats with the white exterior? Yeah, definitely white. Um, everyone sort of said, oh, you're getting that again. But I'd actually find it really easy to keep clean. Yeah. Um, I'd rather see the mess 
and on the white seats and be able to wipe it up, then not know what what's there. And, and yeah, I try I try to get my car detailed once a month. Yep. And just keep it nice and fresh. But yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. It's actually, I actually think, so yeah, most of my Teslas are all white and white and I actually think it's more practical because in summer when you're likely to have sunscreen everywhere, that doesn't show up. But two, it keeps the car a lot cooler. Yeah, so definitely found that. It's, yeah, absolutely. I love the white combo as well. It's just nice and clean and slick and I think if you get out of Nice new car, why not make it nice and fresh looking? Excellent. Um, so what are your plans with this one? You're going to keep it for a while or Yeah, definitely. Um my daughter is about to get her L's and she's got her eyes set on it in a few years. I'm like, that's not ever gonna happen. <laughs> um but yeah, definitely keep it for a while. I'm trying to convince my husband to get one as well. Oh excellent. It's sold as yet. Right. Um, but yeah, I love it. Until yep. until something else comes out, I think this will be it. I, I I'm a bit of an Apple buff, and I have been slowly watching the, the Apple Vision Pro. Yeah, so maybe, <laughs> maybe that might be the next one, but I'll definitely be hanging on to this for a while. Excellent. Were you ever considering a Model Y being a family, an SUV, or you no, yeah. like the sedan? I do like the Model Y. It's too big for us. Right. Um, my friend has one, and I've driven it, and I love it. Yep. But I actually like the sporty feel of this. I just feel like it's, I don't know, a little bit zippier, a little bit thicker. Um, and more practical, we're in the throes of potentially moving house and looking at garage spaces and all of that. And if I get my way and husband gets one too, <laughs> definitely two of these are going to be easier to park side by side. Absolutely. So going back, so what sort of attracted you to Tesla in the first place or um, what made you get your first Model 3? How did all that happen? I was at the hairdresser and my hairdresser said that he'd order the car through an app. And I laughed and pulled up the app and ordered what you just kind of for fun. Um, wow. Yeah, I knew that I needed a new car and my hairdresser literally was like, can they do this? And they do this. And within two hours of having my hair done, I'd bought a car because I hadn't test driven. It's kind of like, I'll take a punt. Anything's got to be better than what I'm driving at the moment. Um, and wow. yeah, then it, I was just fascinated with the whole process and in between ordering it and picking it up, I did go test drive and I knew that I could cancel my order. I wasn't that yep. ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I just took a whim and kind of all the things I'd heard, I thought, you know what, why not? Yeah. Um, and probably the best move I've had. So what do you like most about electric cars and Teslas? Is it um, anything in particular? or Honestly, from the mum factor for me, it is just not having to factor in going to a petrol station. Yep. It's probably one of the worst jobs. It's kind of like up there with ironing for me. Yep. It's just standing there filling up your car when there's a hundred other things you could be doing. I love the convenience of being able to plug in while I'm sleeping. We've got solar and a battery at home, so economically it's great. Yep. Um, and also just setting good example for my kids, culture and the environment and all of those sorts of factors. But for me, it is was purely an economic decision in the sense of no fuel, yep. very little servicing costs, yep. those sorts of things, um, you know, and it far outweighs what you're throwing away on petrol cars. Absolutely. So your previous Tesla, your previous Model 3, um, did you have to, what servicing did you have to do over your two years? Literally, I can't recall what's other than there was an issue that a few people have had with the um, controller of the seat. Yes. Broke off. Yep. Uh, I had that too. Yep. Yep. So they came and did that. Um, yeah. That was under warranty free of charge? Not initially, but right. after sort of discussing with them a little bit. And, okay. And sort of proving my point. Uh, yep. Yeah, it was. Okay. And then the only other thing that I had them come out for was there was an issue with the charging cable at one point. Okay. Where um, the emergency release wasn't released. Oh, right. So okay. Literally, I think I did tyre rotation. Yep. That was For every 10,000 kilometres, Tesla recommends that. And that's $60. Yeah, like yeah. nothing. And that yeah. for me, when I run a small business, run a busy household, you know, like being able to budget and know that there's no surprises. Yeah. There's no insane amounts of servicing or, you know, yeah. and obviously the cars have a warranty as well. Yes. So there's the benefit of buying new. But yeah. in my opinion, 
if you're traveling a lot in a petrol car, the amount of money that you spend on petrol will cover your car repayment. Yeah. So for me, it's just it was just a no-brainer. And I thought, what's the worst thing that can happen? I don't like it, I'll sell it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, and I've never looked back. Fantastic. No, that's such a great story to hear. Tell me about your personalised number play there. What does TPA stand for? It stands for the Production Academy. So I just I have a business where I teach kids musical theatre and um, things like video editing and stuff like that, all sort of elements of performance and production. So. Wonderful. Okay. And where are you based? In Epsy Park. Excellent. Okay. Wonderful. And how have have you got employees there, etc.? Yes, I do. Um, um, and I've got lots of students who love seeing me, Tesla. They all, it's so funny. I, I'm sure they think I'm a millionaire driving on <laughs> just like it just it's there's a lot of hype around Teslas with kids, which I found. Yes. Um, the first one that I had, I actually didn't tell my kids we were getting it, and I pulled up at school to pick them up, and all these other children were like, "It's a Tesla," and I didn't even know that kids knew what cars were. So that was pretty funny, and. To be fair, yesterday I didn't tell my kids that I'd pick this one up. It was that was pretty funny. <laughs> I rocked up at drive through with this one. So the kids love it. Um, so it ties in nicely. And I think, you know, being we're quite tech savvy at my business um, and it's good for the kids to sort of see that and be able to sort of play with technology and stuff as well. Absolutely. You mentioned people think you must be a millionaire. It's a common misnomer about Tesla's. The Model 3 and Model Y are mass market cars. <laughs> And, you know, after three or four years, you've already touched on the fuel savings, the maintenance savings, you know, the registration's cheaper, um, insurance uh, on a like-for-like -like basis is cheaper. Um, you could argue depreciation will be less. Um, so you put all those things together and uh, after three or four years, you actually probably find that you're in front with this compared to a average um, car. 100%. And look. Don't get me wrong, it's very nice and bougie to drive. It does feel good. Yep. But I don't know, there's not many people that would just kind of fluff around and buy a car just for the sake of it and the looks. Like it is actually for us, it's a very practical decision. Yes. Um, and it's, yep. you know, it suits our purposes. And it's really, there's no running costs. Yeah. Just don't understand why, if you're making a decision to buy a new car, why anyone would buy anything other than electric. Yeah. It just doesn't make sense these days. I understand if you've got a petrol car, it can be expensive to switch over. Totally get that. But if you're in the market for a new vehicle, it's just a no-brainer. It, it is. And that's why the Model Y was the best-selling car of any type, of any fuel type, of any car category last year at 1.2 million units. Exactly. So the RAV4, I think, was the second best, and the Corolla was the third best. But they're... Yeah, the sticker price on those is a lot lower. But, um, yeah, look, it's been an absolutely great, um, yeah, talking to you. What a fantastic story. And thank you for taking some time out of your morning. Um, charging here at Karen Up Shopping Centre or actually not charging at the moment um, because, yeah, that, yeah, that. Someone come back and move their car, so it was. Yeah, but you don't need to charge, do you? Um, you, you just. You were hoping to charge some opportunistically. I picked it up yeah. with hundred percent charge. So yeah. yeah. Excellent. All right. Thanks very much again. And um yeah, hope to speak to you again. Thanks, guys. You've been watching uh, Ahead of the Curve. I'm Pete. As always, stay safe, stay sustainable, and stay ahead of the curve. Ciao.